Man's best friend, dog alerts neighbor when owner has stroke. The family's seven-year-old sable German shepherd opened a gate by herself. The stroke came suddenly. He didn't remember falling, but the bump seen later on his head was evidence of his collapse. His wife was two hours away, so he was home alone and vulnerable. The family's seven-year-old sable German shepherd, Ellie, bolted for help. Suffering a hereditary condition that can cause joint pain and lameness, the dog opened no fewer than three gate latches by herself before hopping like a kangaroo to a neighbor's nearby house, barking furiously for attention. The neighbor, Dan Burton, 51, of Gainesville, walked the agitated Ellie back to her owner's home, realized the unfolding medical crisis and dialed 911. His dog was out, and I was bringing him home, and he's just out of it Burton told the dispatcher, according to a recording obtained of the 911 call. He's not his usual self. He doesn't know my name. It's almost like, you know, a stroke of sorts. In the Florida case, which happened the 27th of May, the 911 dispatcher told Burton to ask why man to smile, raise both arms in front of him and repeat the phrase, the early bird catches the worm. Burton said even through his neighbor's German accent, he heard him garble the phrase. Ironically for the safety of paramedics en route the dispatcher instructed Burton to lock away why man's dogs before they arrived. Forty minutes after the stroke, a rescue truck rolled into the neighborhood. Wyman climbed aboard the ambulance himself, leaving behind Ellie and another shepherd, Willie. The rescue crew's concise notes on official records of the emergency run described the situation as male, conscious, breathing. He was at the hospital 16 minutes later. Four months later and now released from the hospital, Wyman said doctors confirmed he had experienced a stroke. While being treated, he was diagnosed with heart problems and type 2 diabetes, which is common in older adults and managed by losing weight, exercising and eating well. Wyman said he lost 25 pounds after his ordeal. Looking back, he remembered coughing and feeling feverish that day, possible precursors to his stroke. Wyman, a driver for an airport rental car company and former professional dog trainer, said Ellie and Willie regard him as the leader of their pack. Interviewed at his home, he said life has been unrecognizable since his stroke and he was still recovering, struggling to use his desktop computer or keep his balance enough to walk with his beloved dogs. But he was alive, thanks to Ellie. A dog is always a very honest, very true kind of character Wyman said. I will always say that dogs are the better humans. It's good to have them around. If you have a dog, you have a companion for life.